channel. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you're having a great day so far and I'm super excited for today's video. I was getting a ton of requests on both of my meal prep videos for me to take you guys through a week of eating in my life based on what I meal prepped. So you guys wanted me to kind of show how I mix and match all the things that I make, how I heat them up, how I kind of structure my week around it. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video and everything was so delicious. I had a lot of fun filming it and I hope it's helpful for you guys and maybe gives you some inspiration on how to build your bowls on how to make them blood sugar balancing which basically just means they have a high quality protein they have healthy fats and they have a lot of fiber that's always the baseline that I follow when creating my meals and as I've said in both meal prep videos I live with my boyfriend and so we basically split the meal prep and there are a few things that I eat in the meal prep that he doesn't either way though we were able to get through pretty much the entire meal prep in the five weekdays of this past week and I also showed you guys a couple of my breakfasts throughout the week one thing I did not show you in this video so bear that in mind is snacks I feel like with snacking it just really depends because sometimes I might be like heating something up or like waiting for something to heat up in the air fryer and then like snack on some carrots or like quickly you know take a little bite of something throughout the middle of the day I do love a snack and I definitely want to create more snack videos for you guys in the future but wanted to just like put that out there because I did not show that in this video but that doesn't mean that I didn't have snacks I didn't like drink water or have like matchas and coffees like throughout the day and things like that it mainly was focused on lunch and dinner as the main source of inspiration but you'll get a glimpse into my past week which has been really fun and filled with delicious food so i hope you guys enjoy and let's get to eating here's what we laid out for today's lunch i'm going to mix and match these things pedro already got his serving of quinoa he's a little hungry man right now i am a lover of these little bowl plates and i was talking to a friend of mine and she was saying like it's such a girl thing to prefer a bowl plate instead of like a full bowl or a full plate and i thought it was so funny for today i'm so excited to try this mustard chicken so i'm going to put one of the mustard chickens as my protein and then i am going to be definitely getting some of these sweet potatoes a little scoop of chickpeas as well for my veggies i'm gonna be doing cauliflower i love me some cauliflower and then i'm also gonna do broccoli this is what it's looking like i'm gonna go microwave it and then i'm gonna add some hummus on top one big spoonful of the hummus on top voila we got the chicken the sweet potato cauliflower and broccoli and some hummus and Pedro went with chicken, broccoli, asparagus, and quinoa. Are you excited? I'm hungry. Okay, go eat. Get started. Wow. The mustard chicken is so good. Mm. Hello, you guys. It is now 8.30 p.m. I went to a full moon meditation and breathwork event at the Soho House in Dumbo with one of my friends, Emily, and it was lovely. I had such a good time. I'm feeling so rejuvenated and just like so ready to embrace new and powerful energy going forwards. This is the last full moon before the new energetic new year, which is basically when Aries season starts, when we have the Aries new moon. Anyway, it was great and I am now ready for dinner. For the protein, I'm gonna be making the salmon and basically you're just gonna pop it in the air fryer for 12 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit and then I will eat with the rest of the stuff. And Pedro's coming home from his grad school program so I will also make one for him. Crispy. For my veggies, I'm gonna use the eggplant and the mixed zucchini. And I'm gonna microwave this. I added the salmon and I'm throwing in some everything but the bagel seasoning, my favorite. And dinner is ready in 10 minutes. Yum. Hello friends, it's Tuesday, so I'm gonna take you guys through what I'm eating today. I forgot to film on my vlog camera, but in the morning I went to SLT, which is this Pilates class, which was really great. So before the class, I had a banana with a little coffee. And then after I got back, I had my favorite yogurt bowl combination. You guys saw it in my easy healthy breakfast recipe video, but it's just Greek yogurt with protein powder, chia seeds, oats, and blackberries. And I 
had kind of a late breakfast around 11 30 so it's now 2 p.m and i'm gonna have my lunch i'm gonna have salmon for lunch today even though i had salmon for dinner yesterday it's kind of what i'm in the mood for and i find that within the meal prep because i defrosted the salmon and it's not cooked it's more important for me to eat it faster so i'm gonna air fry it just like i did yesterday it takes 10 minutes and then i will build my bowl Sizzling, 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 perfect. Arugula, which is my favorite. Lovely and amazing for our gut. Chopped up some cherry tomatoes, adding in quinoa. I want to add some asparagus, so I'm just gonna warm all of this up in the microwave. I'm gonna drizzle some balsamic vinegar, adding the salmon, and last but not least, a little bit of the beet hummus because it's absolute perfection. A little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning, and voila. Here's the finished product. It's looking so delicious. Bon appetit. Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the beauty of meal prepping. It's amazing meal it took me 10 minutes to make. It's gonna keep me fueled, happy, nourished, and just saves me time throughout the week. I'm obsessed. Going to be going over 23 fashion. Overall, I feel much. It's 5 25 p.m. now, and I was in the mood for a little snack. It's been like three hours since I've had lunch, more or less. And this is what I'm having. It's kind of a random mix, but it's basically like half a cup of cottage cheese with some of the turmeric chicken that I made, and then one rice cake basically crumbled on top with some pepper. Such a good, like, savory and protein forward snack. So if you're looking for a new snack to try, definitely give this one a try. Your products. Got my dinner ready. I went with tilapia, cauliflower, and then the pepper mix. Looks so delicious. It is Wednesday and I am having a really good day. I woke up, had my banana as always, and then after my workout, I had a little protein oatmeal. That was so good. I did oats, protein powder, almond milk, cacao nibs, peanut butter, and blackberries, and it was so divine. And I also just had a little matcha latte which was one of my best ones yet. I used the gold matcha and then some of the gold coconut collagen powder. And that was such a good ad. Now I'm gonna have lunch. I have a podcast recording in 15 minutes, so I'm in a time crunch, but it's 2.45 and I wanna have something to eat before the podcast recording. So I'm gonna go make my lunch now. Just a little bit of charred broccoli, mustard, chicken, sweet potato and chickpeas. Bring this. I'm going to also add just a little bit of arugula and some extra salad, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and voila! I'm snacking the salmon carrots. They are so good on their own as a snack. Like, I haven't even put them on any of my bowls because they're just so good on their own. And it's so perfect to like reach for when I get a little hungry. Don't get me wrong, like, I love a crispy just like fresh carrot with like hummus or something like that but there's something about these cinnamon carrots that i'm obsessed with it i don't even warm them up <laughs> i have to show you guys it's almost done hello hello my friends it is 8 p.m and i'm about to head out for a friend's birthday but before i go i want to make sure i eat because we're going to some like birthday drinks but let's go make our nourish bowl together i'm gonna have some fish and veggies similar to what i did last night since i had chicken for lunch i wanted to kind of change it up for dinner here she is i did tilapia eggplant zucchini and beet hummus and it looks and smells so good Good morning. 
morning it's thursday and i just woke up feeling really good i did a root chakra meditation and i haven't done that in so long and that felt amazing i'm gonna go on a run this morning because i just finished my period and i want to get a run in before i leave for portugal tomorrow so i'm gonna have a little something to eat before i work out which is what i always have i basically just take one banana smash it and have it with cinnamon i'm also gonna make a little coffee It looks kind of weird, but I promise, try it and then tell me what you think because I just find that it's like a yummy little pre-workout combination. I guess I like having my baby food. <laughs> the longest run I've ever done in my entire life it was eight miles but it felt really good my body kind of started resisting it around six miles but after I got past like six and a half seven like it was fine for the half marathon is 13 miles so I want to get to at least like 10 11 miles before the race in the end of April but it's basically noon so I'm gonna make myself like a little brunch at home I have one egg but I think I'm gonna fry it and add that on top of my bowl combination I've made so far. The brunch plate is ready. I did chickpeas, sweet potato, chicken, egg, hummus, tomatoes, and avocado, and arugula at the base, and I'm so excited to eat this. I'm going to a dinner tonight with Nutrafol, which I'm super excited because I've been working with them basically on a long-term basis since a year ago. They just launched in Sephora, so I think it's going to be just a great event. My hair is already ready and I'm having a, a little pre-dinner snack because the dinner is only at 6.30 and I'm hungry right now. So I just heated up a little bit of asparagus and mustard chicken and I'm just going to eat this and finish up a little bit of work before I do my makeup. And I just wanted to get it on camera so you guys can get a sneak peek into the rest of my eating today. Good morning, you guys. It's Friday and we leave for Portugal today. I had so much fun at the Nutrafol dinner yesterday and I just woke up, it's like 8 a.m. I have an event this morning with one of my friends, Mish. She like has her own like fitness platform and she's organizing a small little event. So I'm excited to go meet her for the first time in real life. And all of that is at 10. I'm gonna have some breakfast. So I'll show you guys what I make. I will probably have lunch when I return from the workout. I always eyeball my shoe seeds. Water. Half of a cup of milk. I had some apple in the fridge, so I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna chop it up. Here's the final product. It's looking honestly stunning. Mmm. Yeah. I made myself a matcha and it tastes amazing. It's a little homemade almond milk matcha. I just filmed the recipe for my TikTok. I will have it linked in the description if you want to find out how I make my matcha. And even after taste testing like 14 different matchas across New York City, this is still my absolute favorite. back home from the workout it was amazing mish is so sweet like she is such a cute human being i had not met her in person before and her workout it was like the perfect blend of like you feeling sexy in your body and confident and strong but also like really moving slowly with the moves and just 
sinking into them and like letting them burn so it was so good and now it's noon and i'm so hungry so i'm gonna eat a lunch now and i'm also gonna show you guys like what we have left of the food i imagine we're probably gonna eat an early dinner before we leave for the airport our flight is at nine so i imagine we'll probably eat before i definitely will and then everything else that's left over i will just freeze for when we get back so let me make a little lunch plate this is what's left over so we have half of the peppers and half of the eggplant a little asparagus a little bit of the sweet potato one mustard chicken and then a little bit of this which i feel like is going to be the perfect amount of quantity of food to last us for today so let's get into it here's the finished plate so we got our chicken a lot of fiber from the veggies we got some healthy fats from the hummus and all around just deliciousness we are about to head out for the airport in like 10 15 minutes so i'm just gonna have a little bit of like a meal right now because it's 5 15 and i'm pretty hungry because i had lunch so early so i basically just grabbed everything that was left and i'm gonna make myself a little plate as i said there was a lot of quinoa left over so i'm gonna put this in the freezer because when we come back it's still eatable and aside from the quinoa the only things that are gonna go to waste basically is Pedro didn't eat one of his salmon and then some of the fish is left over. Like, I would eat this if I stayed here over the weekend because it honestly still looks and tastes fine. But since we're traveling, I have to throw it out. So this is what I put together. We have quinoa at the bottom and just a little bit of leftover sweet potato and chickpeas. I plant the peppers, two of the chickens, which were the last ones. And it honestly looks pretty damn good. And that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was just like informative in some way or just helpful to see how I was able to move through the entire meal prep throughout the week. I obviously didn't film what Pedro eats and what he ate from the week but most of the things I make he eats aside from some of the vegetables so he mainly just eats like the asparagus, the broccoli, the cauliflower I eat the good stuff A lot of the other things like the beet hummus or the eggplant or the peppers, like zucchini, he doesn't eat any of that so that was mainly what I ate and he did eat more of the other vegetables. If it was helpful, please let me know in the comments. Drop a comment, share what you liked. If you guys want to see more videos like this. And as I finish this literal clip, we are about to get our bags and head to Lisbon. So I'm going to be filming a travel vlog for you guys that will be out next week. So stay tuned for that. And remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you're enjoying my lifestyle, wellness, and holistic health content on here, there will definitely be so much more coming. So... Love you guys so much and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.